Sci-4 is a package of quantum chemistry programs that can compute molecular orbitals and molecular energies using a wide variety of methods. Everything from Hartree-Fock molecular orbital theory to cone sham density functional theory to post-Hartree-Fock electron correlation methods like MP2 configuration interaction or couple cluster theory. Sci-4 has some special features. It can compute energies using multi-reference couple cluster theory. It can compute a number of molecular properties with couple cluster theory, including optical rotation angles. And it has the ability to analyze intermolecular interactions in terms of their fundamental physical components using symmetry adapted perturbation theory, or SAPT. Sci-4 has been written to work well with modern computer hardware that has multiple cores per chip, and it also has been written to be user-friendly. The Psi Electronic Structure Package has a long history going all the way back to the 1970s when the code was built in the Fortran programming language and, and emphasized configuration interaction methods. It's seen a number of major transitions over the last several decades, uh, including the shift from VAX to Unix systems around 1990 or so, and then much more recently the transition to our C++ and Python infrastructure that we use now. Today, Psy boasts uh, an international team of dozens of developers, and it's been downloaded you know, many thousands of times by users worldwide. Uh, we distribute Psy under the GNU General Public License, which means you can not only get it for free, but you're also free to develop for the package. Um, many of our developers work independently, and Psy provides a really firm infrastructure foundation for rapid implementation of new theoretical methods. In addition, the Psy team has designed the code so that we can readily leverage the capabilities of other projects by inserting modular components developed by external researchers. For example, Psy now has the capability to use a number of new solvation methods such as the polarizable continuum model and effective fragment potentials thanks to new interfaces that, that our collaborators have developed. I like using Psy4 because it's free and open source and it's very easy to obtain. A majority of its functions are parallelized, so it runs really fast. And finally, you can use Python to its fullest in the input files, which makes automating jobs very easy. Well, a feature that we're very excited about is uh, the new X2C code that we uh, developed this year. So X2C is a technique to introduce scalar relativistic effects into um, electronic structure calculations. And it's very convenient because it allows you to just modify the one electron uh, operators and so um, once you do that all the other codes that introduce electron correlation can just read these one electron integrals that contain relativistic corrections and um, all the other codes run in the same way and, and so X2C now is applicable to all the methods that are implemented inside uh, from UFT, CI, couple cluster and multi-reference couple cluster methods. I use the SAP code in Sci4 pretty much on a daily basis I used SAPT in a previous group where we used a different program, and there are a lot of input files. It took a lot of time to make. It was a very complicated program to use, whereas in Sci4, it's very easy to run SAPT. It's a single input file. It's very easy for me to draw a molecule, optimize it, and run SAPT, and it really eliminates a lot of redundant and tedious work from my workflow and allows me to concentrate much more on the applications and on the chemistry of things. Sci4 has made it really easy. Um, density fitting in Sci4 is also a good point. Um, it makes calculations very quick, so that's also another good selling point of Sci4. Um, the community is great. It's great to interact with good people. A lot of good people work on this code, and they're friendly, nice people to meet and talk to. One of the things that is uh, when you calculate excited energy, it's very really important to characterize excited energies. So having uh, different tools like uh, visualizing the orbitals, uh, visualizing a density matrix, or uh, visualizing uh, the dipole moment or transition dipole moment, uh, um, you know, projected onto different atoms. Uh, that kind of tool is can be developed in Sci4 or has been developed by Francesco. So those features are uh, very uh, great uh, to you know. Uh, assigned as uh, excited index spectra. One of the nice features of Psi is its multi-reference couple cluster capabilities. Um, so when I was a graduate student in the Schiffer group, I implemented the Mukherjee multi-reference couple cluster method. This is a state-specific couple cluster theory, so you can study one electronic state at a time. Um, and it's based on a complete active space formalism. So you 
have to first do a uh, um, calculation to determine active orbitals, and then on top of that, you can add dynamical correlation with uh, this Ricci technique. Um, and this code is particularly useful to study diradicals. So you can study singular triplet splittings, um, and and you can study a few few roots of um, even excited states.